our lead story of the day is regarding DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas and the Biden administration doing a victory lap regarding illegal immigration. We're going to tell you why, but before we jump into any of that, support a true American patriot by hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave us a short, sweet comment down below. Your help support would be greatly appreciated. Well, DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas takes to ABC News and does a victory lap regarding illegal immigration because supposedly the Border Patrol agents have seen a 50% drop in the number of migrants crossing from Mexico into the United States since Title 42 expired at midnight on Thursday. We got a couple highlights from that interview. Let's go ahead and roll it. In fact, over the past two days, the United States Border Patrol has seen an approximately 50% drop in the number of people encountered at our southern border as compared to the numbers earlier this week before Title 42 came to an end midnight on Thursday. Yes, as a matter of fact, we've already removed thousands of people who have arrived at our southern border. We have we are enforcing our traditional immigration enforcement authorities under Title Eight of the United States Code. And we've also issued a rule that provides that if one arrives at the Listen southern border without either accessing the lawful pathways we've made available to them or seeking relief in one of the countries through which they have traveled, then they will have a higher threshold to meet to make a successful asylum claim. Well, 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 so did you hear that last bit there of that they implemented a rule or they initiated a rule? That rule that they implemented was a Trump era policy, by the way. They don't want to use the word Trump because they know they're going to piss off their base and their voters for implementing a racist policy or whatever. See, it was only racist under Trump, but once the Biden administration does it and the Democrats, all of a sudden it's A-OK. -okay. Everybody's fine with it. So that's one of the reasons as to why we think we see a 50% drop in numbers is because they're finally implementing a policy that worked under the Trump administration. And obviously, as if it worked under one administration, you'd expect it to work under another administration. The other mechanism we think is taking place, and this kind of comes from multiple outlets, is that they think that the smugglers are trying to figure out what is going on. Like, what's the actual rule, what they can get away with. And so they think there's kind of a, a delay or a gap in terms of a wave of immigrants that you're going to see at the border, or at least progressing towards a number that they were traditionally seeing of 10,000, 11,000 a day. So it's kind of like the eye of the storm. And that's what we could be sitting in right now. So that was Alejandro Mayorkas there sitting there and pushing this whole thing on ABC News. And you also have reports coming out from Arizona where there's some eerie scenes here of just the border just completely empty. There's nobody there. So before there was these long lines and we saw some drone footage, these long lines of illegal immigrants just standing there waiting to get, get processed and pushed through the system. And now there's nobody there. So the United States on Friday ended COVID-19 border restriction that had blocked many migrants at the border with Mexico, triggering a scramble to enter during the night that had basically evaporated by sunrise. So again, those long lines were just gone by the next morning. A holding area by the border wall outside Yuma, Arizona, that was filled with lines of migrants on Thursday night was empty at dawn. The only reminder of a surge in arrivals at the clock tick down to Title 42 deadline was a dumpster filled with discarded water bottles and a mess of footprints in the sand. Local authorities said everyone, from Border Patrol agents to migrants and the cartels that control people smuggling operations, was trying to understand what came next after the end of Title 42 and the introduction of of slew of new regulations. So again, they're trying to just figure this whole thing out before they start, again, their billion dollar business operation, which Joe Biden is basically helping and subsidizing and basically not enforcing the laws that are on the books. I anticipate that people are still trying to figure out what this means and how this will play out. And this comes from the Yuma County Supervisor, Jonathan Lines. We do have some footage here of just kind of the eeriness of the border and what's actually going on. Ain't nobody there, folks. Just nobody there. Before, there was hundreds of people. You got this person walking along the border. Nothing going on. And it's just insane. It's insane. Expecting thousands, and now we're down to 50%. Hey, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing, by the way. If the policies are actually working, then we got to pat people on the back for at least trying to to do what they can do to solve the problem. Now, I'm still pissed about what took place before of, the, of basically Joe Biden not executing the laws on the books, which is the job of the executive branch is to execute the laws on the books. And finally, they're doing it.
Finally, they're doing it. But again, I really do think, I think it's Trump's era policy that's really helping a lot of this out. So predictions of chaos also failed to come true in other border cities, such as El Paso, Texas, which we saw the National Guard there through, uh, well, the Texas National Guard to be specific, uh, instituted by um, the governor, Greg Abbott of Texas. So we saw footage of them basically pushing migrants back and not allowing them to come through. However, that does not mean that the crisis is over. Again, we do not expect this to continue. Days of surging migration have pushed holding facilities beyond capacity. Wait till you hear these numbers, you guys. Officials told DailyMail.com that border detection facilities have maxed out holding as many as 28,000 people as numbers detained at the border surpass 10,000 a day. Border cities said that basically border cities are saying they cannot keep up with the processing of arrivals. And this is where you had our Sunday episode of Jackie Heinrich of Fox News questioning uh, Kareem Jean-Pierre of this policy that was blocked saying, hey, you know, what happens? What's your plan B regarding letting mass amount of people into the interior of the country? Because if you recall, it was actually uh, Moody, I think was her last name, that is the attorney general of Florida said, hey, you know what? This is this is not right. We're going to block this Biden policy where if Border Patrol is overwhelmed, that they're just going to allow a massive surge of illegal immigrants into the country, basically just let them loose. So that's not happening anymore. Thank God. So that also relieves what's taking place as well. So it's a lot of these Republican things that are being instituted by the Biden administration that's bringing this relief at the border. But we again, we don't expect to see this continue. We expect the smugglers to kind of fix out a new strategy, figure out what the hell's going on, and then have a massive surge once again. Now, if it is true, if these numbers are legit, where the border is seeing 50% decline in migrants being apprehended or taken in, that, that I'm all for that, you guys. I, just because I hound the, the Biden administration consistently, I hound them because they suck at their job. But when they do something good and we're actually seeing something positive, I would like to pat them on the back somewhat. Again, I'm not happy with what they did before, but if they're actually implementing things that are going to stop this damn thing from taking place, I am all for it. And we got to be linear in terms of congratulating people when they do something good and hounding them when they do something bad. And that carries over to whoever's president, by the way. So if Trump gets in, who I'm voting for probably in the next election, or DeSantis, whoever it may be, that's, that's the runner, then, uh, you know, they're going to get hounded too if they do something stupid. I think that's only fair. And I think that's honest coming from me as somebody that hounds the Democrats. We got to do the same thing with Republicans and keep everybody accountable. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.